What's up everyone this is Noob Puller and today I'm here to give you 10 tips and tricks for beginners which will help you a lot. So let's get started. Alright so the first trick is that you can use CD tilde to immediately go to your home directory. So the second trick is to use htop or btop instead of the GUI task managers. You can use both of them to control and manage the processes of your computer. Also if you have friends that do not know much about tech then you can just fool them by running these commands and get free respect. Third tip can come in handy many times for you. Let's say you ran a command and you want to run the same command after some time. Then you can just use the up arrow key to navigate to all the commands you have ran. And you can choose the command that you want to run. You can also use the down arrow key to navigate the commands. If you run a command and the system asks you for sudo privileges, you can run sudo exclamation mark exclamation mark to run it with root perms. It basically tells your terminal to run the most recent command but with the root privileges. This tip is very important. You must never run commands like sudo rm hyphen rf slash star no preserve root in your terminal as it will completely destroy your operating system deleting all your files you should also never run combinations like this one because this can be malicious too in short never run any sudo commands or strange commands without searching on google or asking your friend chat gpt you probably know this trick that you can run history in your terminal and all the commands you have ran will come in an order. If you want to find something like oh what was the thing I ran yesterday, you can just find it here. This is one of the reasons you should never directly type your confidential information in your terminal. There is a very popular command called neofetch which you can use to get the information of your system very quickly. It will display your PC specs with an awesome looking logo of your Linux distribution. It will also tell you the RAM which is right now your system is using. You can use F11 to full screen your terminal screen. Let me demonstrate. Let me run cmatrix which is a cool command you can run with F11. This will look pretty cool when you are recording a video and maybe you need this in background. You can you remove the scroll bar from the terminal preferences if it annoys you. If you want to run two commands together, you can easily just put m percent m percent between them to combine those commands. Let's say I want to upgrade my system and install a package with it. I can run sudo pacman hyphen syu m percent m percent sudo pacman hyphen sy. Side note, it only runs the second command when the previous one is executed. If you want to run all the commands independently without being dependent on the previous command whether it's successful or not, you can replace the m percent m percent with semicolon. Last tip is to use cat command to see the contents of a file without opening it. Let's say that I use vim which is a text editor to edit a file and I want to check if I wrote something correctly. I can just use the cat command to see the contents of the file without actually opening it in any text editor.
thanks for watching the video make sure to like and comment your favorite command also tell me which video should i make next